don't tell anybody this, but it's not really work. I mean, think about you calling one of your best friends and talking sports with him uh, for at night on the phone for like an hour. That's sort of what we do, and we do it for a long period of time. Now, with that said, when you spend three or four hours a day together right next to each other, things can get kind of hairy at times. So occasionally, just occasionally, we might yell, we might scream. Uh, he once took a swing at me. I don't want to get into that because it's, it's an ugly story. Now, again, joking aside, it's been a great ride, and I look forward to another 15. reason I loved sports, loved them. First thing I remember, box scores in newspapers. Uh, uh, couldn't get enough of sports. Used to uh, uh, throw anything, tennis balls against a wall, footballs in the snow, whatever. Just loved sports. And so I uh, wanted to be a quarterback in the National Football League. And then at about the age of 14, I realized that ain't going to happen. Uh, I'm not near good enough. It's okay to have your dream, but it's also okay to be real. And I was real. There's no chance. Look at me. I have no athletic ability whatsoever except a little bit of eye-hand coordination. So what's the next best thing? Well, let's talk sports. I can do that. I love sports. I know everything there is about sports. That's all I liked. I like to read sports. I like to watch sports. I was all into sports, like a lot of people. But I decided that's what I'm going to do. That's my goal. So uh, we moved down to Florida when I was 12. I went to the University of Florida because back then it was easy to get into. That's no longer the case. I wouldn't come close to getting in there today. So timing mattered. Came out of there, graduated in uh, the usual, you know, four and a half years. So was in no hurry. Was in a fraternity, having a good time. Take your time in college. Experience everything. Then uh, got out of school, did have a job. Uh, which is always fun to tell your mom and dad after they've helped you get through college. Hey, listen, I really want to try this broadcasting thing. Give me a year extra and let me see if I can find a job. If I don't find a job, then I'll, then I'll give it up. I drove all across the state, went into Georgia, dropped tapes off. Everybody said, yeah, okay, thanks for coming. You, you need more experience. Where do I get the experience? Not here. You're not getting the experience here now. Get out. Okay. So looking for a TV gig, looking for a TV gig. Almost got one. Closest I came was in a city called Yakima, Washington. That would have went over well if I went to Yakima, Washington, but I almost did. Uh, but unfortunately I came in second there, or fortunately. So I ended up coming to Jacksonville. Uh, a guy named Randy Ruditz took me under his wing. He's a weekend guy. Worked for free for about six months. Uh, got a job, allegedly at Channel 4. Never really got hired. Went back to Channel 12, eventually got hired. $200 a week, uh, making a lot of money. I used to comment, you know, my baby brother's making more money bussing tables than I'm making with a college degree, but that's okay, because I love what I do. And I did, it was fun. So I gave it a shot, I, things kept working out for me. I was blessed, great timing. Never worked anywhere else but Jacksonville. Been here my whole career. I had a couple opportunities along the way to leave Jacksonville, and I didn't want to. I didn't want, there are a number of personal reasons as well, but. Um, I wasn't going to leave Jacksonville. I love Jacksonville. And again, listen, great things have happened, though. I went to the University of Florida, and University of Florida got good in football and won some national championships and national championships in basketball. Then out of nowhere, we got an NFL team, which, again, it's really not out of nowhere if you follow the story. But for me, here I am, 30 years old, and all of a sudden, in my town, I've got an NFL franchise. What more do I want? So Jacksonville, I've watched it grow. But the best thing about Jacksonville, and I've always said this, I've always said this, Jacksonville people love Jacksonville people. We're all family. We take care of each other. Uh, if you look at our, our advertisers, great Jacksonville people. They've been here, a lot of them have been here for years and years and years. And they just, we all, we all help each other out. And that's what I love most about Jacksonville. Look at what we do with the J Fund every year. We raise a quarter of a million dollars in one day because Jacksonville people take care of Jacksonville people. It's, it's, 
It's a huge town with small market love. And that's what I love most about this city. I would never want to work anywhere else. You know, I've done television, I've done radio, and they're so different in so many different ways. But the one thing that I love most about Sports Talk Radio is there's no hiding, you know. Uh, people listen to you and they know who you are because you're on for three or four hours a day, so you can't hide it. You either know sports or you don't know sports. They either like you or they don't like you. I mean, it's pretty cut and dry. So that's that's the one thing I love. And we've had, you know, Jeff and me have had a great relationship through the years. Uh, he's like my, he's like a little brother to me, ladies and gentlemen. He was, he was desperate. He was in need. Um, he came to me. He said, "I want to do radio. Can you help?" I went, uh, "No, I can't. I'm, I'm a television star right now." Kidding. Uh, we, so we had to decide we wanted to do some radio because we had the Sports Final TV show and, and it was great and people seemed to like it. So we thought, what if we did that on radio? Would that work? And so we decided to try it. And then Steve Griffin brought us to 1010XL when they started this plan to have this sports talk radio station all local all the time. And it was so exciting and it's been so much fun for the last 15 years. It's been a great ride and I look forward to another 15.